Assalamu alaikum guys, I am here at King Abdul Aziz Airport, Jidda Airport. This is not the North Terminal, so just keep that in mind. Not the North Terminal. This is the other terminal. From here, you can get flights to, uh, flights with like, I don't know if you can see that right now over there. Like Saudi Airlines, Ittihad, MEA, Malaysia, Turkish Airlines. So uh, this is um, the North Terminal. I'm going to that in a little while. So I show you Zamzam water procedure over there. But here, if you come between gates uh, C1, as you can see over there, and B2 over there, you can actually come to the Zamzam water station, as you can see here. Extremely busy because it's Ramadan right now. Now, um, one thing I will make clear right away, I asked the guy here as well. If you have an Umrah visa, you can buy Zamzam water. If you don't have an Umrah visa, and if you're coming from countries where you can get a visa on arrival, this new visa called tourist visa, you cannot buy Zamzam water. It, it is what it is. It's strict now because anyone can come on a tourist visa. They can go Jidda for a day or whatever, and they can end up taking Zamzam water. So it's not right for the pilgrims. If you have an Umrah visa, then you can actually come and buy Zamzam water. Now, keep that in mind when you come here, but they've changed the rules. So if you have an Umrah visa, that's why if you're coming from UK, US, Canada, places like that where you can get a visa on arrival, Malaysia, I think, is included, then make sure you buy an Umrah visa if you want to buy Zamzam water. Yes, you cannot explore beyond Makkah and Medina, but most people that come for Umrah don't anyways. They just stay in Makkah and Medina. Um, and if you buy an Umrah visa, you can buy Zamzam water. So you can see over there, I'll just head down this way here. Uh, you can see over here that the Zamzam water actually cost 8.5 riyals, okay? 8.5 riyals. And you could just come to this desk here and you make a payment. And it's as simple as that. As you can see, people are lining up. Now, it's extremely busy right now, so I would have gone and asked a few more questions, but really there is nothing more to it. You come here, you pay 8.5 riyals, and you can only take one like box each one bottle one box each uh, one per person one per visa keep that in mind i'm off to the north terminal now so i'm going to go and check over there um uh, what the zamzam procedure is over there let's go let's go check it out so i just noticed between c2 and d1 over there there's another zamzam water station a little less busier here then over there so you can come here as well all right so i've just made it to the north terminal and if you're flying from the north terminal here as you can see the zamzam water station is right here uh, the entrances are like various entrances on the left if you come all the way up you can come here to the zamzam water station now the price is exactly the same it's 8.5 riyals and also remember it's only allowed for those holding an umrah visa it says it there as well say that Zamzam water is only allowed to those holding Umrah visa no refunds and it's 8.50 riyals so hopefully that helps if you're coming for Hajj if you're coming for Umrah only one per person one per visa is allowed inshallah um, if you are coming to North Terminal this is where you'll come so it's pretty simple but you need an Umrah visa keep that in mind it's really busy here because it's Ramadan so I hope you found that beneficial please do comment like and subscribe and inshallah I will see you guys in another video take care and assalamu alaikum